Hallo, ich bin's, Robin, Deutschlehrer mit Core Languages, and I have a question for you. What do you think makes learning a language difficult? You might say, well, the grammar or the vocabulary, idioms, and so on, and that's all correct. But another element that makes learning a language difficult is that you almost have to abandon the rules and the grammar of your own language in order to absorb the rules and the grammar of the new language. And that can be quite challenging. One of the things that German learners might find difficult is the German cases. There are four grammatical cases in German, the nominative, the genitive, the dative, and the accusative. The grammatical cases are used to demonstrate the relationship between nouns in a sentence. But let's start somewhere. What is this? What is the most basic sentence you can make to explain what this is? You can say, well, das ist eine Banane. This is a banana. There is no other noun in the sentence. So how can it show the relationship? Well, congratulations. You just learned the first grammatical case in German, the nominative. In today's video, I'm going to show you the nominative case so you can build basic German sentences. So los geht's and viel Spaß beim Deutsch lernen. The nominative case, der Nominativ. German has four grammatical cases, the nominative, the accusative, the dative, and the genitive. Each case can be thought of as a container for a basic part of speech, although it is not limited to the following. The nominative can be considered the subject case. The subject of a sentence is usually in the nominative. The accusative case is the case of the direct object, and the dative is the case of the indirect object. The genitive is the case of possessives. In today's video, we are going to focus on the nominative case, or den nominativ. The nominative case has multiple components, but only one function. It contains the subject of the sentence. For example, Bob is at home. Bob ist zu Hause. Bob is the subject of the sentence. Bob is in the nominative case. The nominative can also include the predicate noun. For example, Bob is my friend or Bob ist mein Freund. This sentence includes Bob and another noun, mein Freund, which describes the subject. Bob is still in the nominative case, and so is the predicate noun. The nominative case can also include the predicate adjective. For example, Bob is friendly, or Bob ist freundlich. The adjective here describes Bob. Bob is still in the nominative case. In summary, a predicate noun renames the subject. It can be substituted for the subject and refer to the same person or thing. A predicate adjective is simply an adjective that describes the subject. The verb sein, or to be, is one of the most commonly used verbs for the nominative case in the German language. Let's review the conjugation of sein. Ich bin. Du bist and sie sind. We use du or you for someone that we know or are close friends with, and we use sie for formal relationships or people that we don't know. Er, sie, es, ist. Wir sind. Ihr seid or sie sind. Z can also be used for plural you of a group of people that we do not have a close relationship with. 
and Z sind. A good way to differentiate between formal U and they is that formal U, Z, is always capitalized, even if it is in the middle of the sentence. Z, as in they, is not capitalized unless it is the first word in a sentence. Z is the formal second person singular and plural form. Always remember that the formal mode of address is used when the speaker does not personally know the addressee. Here are some examples of the verb sein in use. Du bist froh. This means you are glad or you are happy. Du is the nominative case and froh in this case is the predicate adjective. Sie sind spät. You are late. Late is the predicate adjective and Z is in the nominative case. We use Z, which is formal U, because this is a work situation and the colleagues most likely don't have a personal relationship. Try to read the next examples on your own first. Wir sind Studenten. We are students. In this case, wir or we is in the nominative case and Studenten is the predicate noun. Ich bin krank. I am sick. Ich or I is in the nominative case and krank or sick is the predicate adjective. In the nominative case, we can always use the verb sein to attach a predicate adjective. For example, die Frau ist jung. The woman is young. The woman is in the nominative case and jung is the predicate adjective. Der Mann ist alt. The man is old. Der Mann is in the nominative case and alt is the predicate adjective. Ich bin müde. I am tired. Ich or I, in this case the pronoun, is in the nominative case and müde is the predicate adjective. The adjective describes the noun. Jung describes the woman, alt describes the man, and müde describes ich. Here are examples of sentences in the nominative case that use a predicate noun. The predicate noun is used to complement the subject noun and is also in the nominative case. For example, das Mädchen ist Schülerin. The girl is a student. Notice that in the translation I added a student. In the German sentence there isn't an article and in this example that's okay. Das Mädchen ist Schülerin. Also notice that the word Schüler, which is student, has the ending in. In is the female suffix that is attached to jobs or positions nationalities and ethnicities because of the gender of nouns. If it is a female student, I say Schülerin. Er ist Professor. He is a professor. And du bist Architektin. Again, notice that we added the suffix in to signify that the architect is female. Schülerin, Professor and Architektin are the predicate nouns that are complementing the subject nouns das Mädchen, er and du. We can also use the negative form of to be to form sentences in the nominative using a predicate adjective. For example, Bären sind nicht freundlich. 
bears are not friendly. Bären is the subject noun in the nominative, and freundlich or friendly is the predicate adjective. Der Hund ist freundlich. The dog is friendly. Der Hund is the subject noun in the nominative, and freundlich is the predicate adjective. Look at the following two pictures and sentences and try to choose the correctly conjugated form of to be to complete the sentences with a predicate adjective. Das Kind traurig. Das Kind is third person singular, so the correct form of sein is ist. Das Kind ist traurig. Die Blumen schön. Die Blumen is the plural for flowers, so it is the third person plural, and the correct form of sein is sind. Die Blumen sind schön. And how about these two sentences? Again, try to choose the correctly conjugated form of sein to complete them. Er lustig. Er is the third person singular, so the correct form of sein is ist. Er ist lustig. He is funny. Du Politiker. Du is the second person singular, so the correct form of to be is bist. Du bist Politiker. If you are talking to a female politician, you would say, du bist Politikerin. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. I hope you now have a better understanding of how the nominative works. As always, if you have more questions, feel free to comment. Or if you're interested in joining one of our German courses with a live instructor, feel free to message us directly. Das war's. Vielen Dank und bis zum nächsten Mal.